You know, just when you thought it was over, there's another one of these games! <laughs> I never actually thought there would be another one, but, you know, it's here. It's Uzi's Drug Adventures now! Undead Memories. But, anyway, hello everyone! We're here! We're playing this game! It's been a while since I played the last one. The last one was a lot different than this one. It's the same main character, but I feel like this game has a lot more story to it than the first one, because, well, the first one was made with RPG Maker VX Lite, and I'm pretty sure it was made by the same person. But, the only way to find it is to actually, you know, play the game, so let's play the game. By Molly Wars. Disclaimer! This game does not promote the use of drugs, alcohol, or anything else horrible you can think of. It's just a game and nothing more. If you don't understand the difference between reality and fiction, you should stop playing this game and do something else. But fortunately, we play on video games on YouTube, so of course we understand the difference between reality and fiction. Anyway, there's like this thing, like fixer, worker, and apparently you have to have a large chest to be a breeder. I mean, what? <laughs> Uzi is over the age of 32. Uzi is not underage. She's a fixer and over the age of 32. Moe Wars is based on the future in which humanity has spread its existence throughout the universe. At this point in time, 99% of humans are made of labs. They are born as adults with all the basic knowledge already known. Their eyes and hair color are random and come in all the colors of the rainbow. The three main types of humans are fixers, workers, and breeders. Fixers are small, child-sized people that are incredibly smart. They were mainly designed to work aboard ships. Since they're smaller, the ships can be made smaller and more compact. It also makes it easier for them to work on smaller machines. To help with costs, fixers were also designed to be able to stay up for long periods of time. Most fixers only sleep every other night. They also can also see in pure darkness because their eyes glow in the dark. What? This feature was added so they can easily work on machines without the use of the flashlight. Even though Uzi is a fixer, the people in her hallucinations are normal aging people. Because this is RPG Maker VX Ace, old... This is because RPG Maker VX Ace only has one-shaped sprites, not including the child size sprites, which are hard to find. Anyway, this is Uzi. She is an insane fixer who loves getting high off anything that she can get her hands on. The only information they have on her is that she was found on the planet Astrio IO4. Uzi herself doesn't even seem to know anything about her past. It's unclear she doesn't actually remember it, or her brain is simply too fucked up to translate the information. Oh my god. Recently, her delusional highs had tried to tell her something. Will Uzi realize where her mind is trying to tell her? Will she be too lost in bliss to know- Wait, real quick, give me a second. I just had to move my- I had to move my recording timer, I'm sorry. But anyway. Random color fluid for brain to moan with joy over unknown fun! Uzi gulped down the strange liquid which was on- Which was a blend of random things she had found on the ship. Oh god. This is just like the first game. Before too long, the substance was too much for her stomach to handle. Knowing that she was going to throw out, she quickly covered her mouth with her hands. With nowhere else to go, the pressure built up inside her until she eventually, until eventually vomit squirted out of her nose. Before she could react to what was going on, the room around her started to spin and change colors. Her mind slowly fell to bliss as her brain filled up with errors. Would you like to put in the tutorial? Well, actually, I am going to put in the tutorial. I played a bit of the tutorial, but... This game is not like the first one. It's not a straight-up RPG. As we're about to find out. Welcome to the tutorial. I'll be explaining all the basic controls and features of this game, including the ones you already know. Here are the buttons you- <laughs> This random ass thing just pops up on your screen! Here are the buttons that you will be using while playing this game. So we have... The... You know, the fucking... Directional buttons. For movement. Z is to select stuff. Shift for sprinting. X for the menu. Oh, whoops. And A is to shoot. Keep that one in mind. Who's talking in my head? I am. Hey, it's the guy from last time! Hello, other me in my head. I'm here to teach you how to play the game within your mind. Again. First, I will teach you how to shoot. Mushroom Man! Yes, yes. Now be quiet. Different types of enemies have different types of stats, including how far they can see. So why is that like Fire Emblem? If an enemy is looking in your direction and you're in range of his field of vision, then he will notice you and try to murder you. How mean. For safety purposes, this enemy has been blinded, so don't worry about getting attacked. Stabbed in the eyes! I want you to shoot this enemy by tapping the A button. Alright. As you can see, we have a health 
bar and an experience bar at the level bar up there. So I guess it's kind of like an RPG, but it's mostly a shooter now. You turned into a pretty box! Sometimes enemies will drop items when they die. You can pick up these items by standing over the gift icon, pressing Z. We got some cheese! Good, now for the second part of the tutorial, please walk to the next room. You can move to a new map by standing on top of the pink arrow on the ground and pressing Z. What blue arrow for? The blue arrows are hints that will help guide you to where you need to go. They always show up at the beginning of the game, so expect to see them forever. Okay. So we have to actually press Z. Mushrooms and fairy butts! Throughout your journey, you might stumble upon mushrooms and fairies. They are useful and very rare, so it's important you pick them up if you find them. I should warn you, though, some items have a chance of causing death. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, they're gone. To move to the next room, walk to the door and you'll open it by pressing Z. There's no walking arrow! Doors and ladders don't have arrows. The doors require you to click on them to move to the next map, while on the other hand, you'll automatically move to the next map as you climb up the ladder. It's actually- Whoa, what?! These rainbow-colored crystals are mental blocks. They prevent you from moving to a new map that you're not ready to go to yet. In this case, it's you from going back to the first tutorial, or, um, since there's nothing back there for you to do. These crystals disappear as you play through the never-ending story of your mind. Can I eat them? <laughs> so he just leaves? Is that a yes? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. More tutorial. Well, in order to save your progress, you will need to seek out save pearls. Oh boy. As you can see, there are two types of save pearls. Both of them allow you to save your game, but the red ones have a second option that will allow you to teleport back to Shuriville. Butt Town? You'll know what I'm talking about once you start playing the game. Okay, so we have two separate save points. How do I use this thing? There's no arrow! I'm so confused! Just touch the stairs and it will automatically send you to the next map. Okay, so two different types of save points. Okay, that's new. Oh, and we got chests! As you travel through your mind, you will come across different colored treasure chests. Different colored chests have different rank gear. Blue chests have items that are more suitable for the beginning of the game, while red chests have powerful items that are more suitable for the end of the game. The contents in the chests are random, so you never know what you'll be getting. Oh, boy. What about the chest made of tree corpse? Wooden chests contain ammo. Ammo? You can equip different types of ammunition, which will allow you to shoot different objects. Ammo won't make your shots more powerful, but it's fun being able to choose what you shoot. As a reward for playing through the tutorial, I'll allow you to open this word chest before leaving. Yay! So there's a benefit! Hopefully this time you'll remember her. Remember who? Oh, there are drugs inside! Balls! Not even bad. Whoa, what the? Huh? Uzi looked over at the creepy man that was standing in the dark room she was in now. The man has strange, soulless look in his eyes, as if he were nothing more than a puppet for a higher purpose. You're not the princess. Who the fuck are you? I want drugs. I can get you drugs. I can get you an endless supply of drugs. Really? Of course, I can get you anything you want. But first, I need you to do something for me. What? Bring me the princess of Shuriville. Okay! Wait, what? Where's she at? <laughs> she is inside the castle to the north. The king and queen have never once allowed her to leave the castle, so you'll have to figure out a way to get inside. So I... Go to the castle. Get the princess. Bring her here. Oh, okay. I'm not even moving right now. I'm just saying. That was kind of creepy, though. But anyway, we only have 100 HP, that's not fun. What do we got for items? We have ammunition, we have no key items. What's... What's equip... The bubble ammo, I guess. And we have dual Uzis that we cannot change out, because it's our main weapon. We have new stats called Lust and High. Oh my god, I can't eat with you. A crazy droid act that will do anything you get high, and I mean anything, like kidnapping. There's also this CG gallery, which I don't know if we'll do, because, you know, it's a thing. Read the sign inside House B02. 
there's achievements in this game. Talk to the spirits of Raccoon Town. Find men for Alyssa's harem. <laughs> what? Find the secret room located inside floor 74. Complete the quest of Big Bad Wolf. Save the princess. Clean up. Find the treasure hidden on Treasure Island. Go to the party club's party. Beat all 18 rounds in Guts Arena. Listen to the entire story of the past. Find the hidden memory, hidden memory, hidden memory. Find a way inside the royal barn. Catch 10 mer- Wait, what? Mermaids? Receive five free private dances. What? <laughs> Acquire max lust and max high. Enter the temple of Moe Wars. Okay. I can run here because, you know. Where's house BO2? CO4. I wish I had enough money to buy a better house or at least some furniture. <laughs> Your house is kind of shit, bro. Hi there. Change! Change! Got some change! Zombie! Wait, can I shoot him? No, I can't. Get away from me or I'll have you hung. Go fuck yourself. Door is that door does not look locked in the slightest. But whatever. CO2. Hi there. The girl next door is so beautiful. I guess. Oh my god, his smile is so creepy. Is he like stalking the girl next door? Why do you live next door to a stalker? I feel like I'm being watched! Oh, y yeah, you're definitely being watched. You have like a creepy ass stalker next door. So, where's house BO2? Wait, what? What's this? There's a chest. A strawberry! Is that like a healing item? That's a healing item, okay. But it seems like this place has some significance. Whatever. Let's just move on. So is there more to this town? Oh hell yeah there is. Oh it's that guy. There's an inn here. There's a pub. No kids allowed! Hey! Uzi is over 32. The inn. I'm sorry, but all rooms are occupied at the moment. Please come back later. Please don't go back there without checking in first. Ah, oh, fine. We can at least save. So, watch us save first. I keep forgetting I have to press the Z e to go places. So, is this going to take me to... Here we go. There's an item shop. Let's talk to, like, everybody. Because, you know, like, you always find... Sometimes I will give you a boost that isn't listed in the store. For instance, I ate an apple and randomly gained an attack boost. Huh. I have no money, but we can buy more stuff. Cheap bait that is used to catch stupid mermaids. And a basic fishing rod. I have no money to buy any of that stuff, though. So, rip Rooney. What's this? A restaurant. Can I talk to people in here and get stuff free? Praise the Lord for this delicious food! I love this restaurant's food. Is it gonna have I hate my husband. I hate carrots. Leave me alone a meeting. I hate my job. <laughs> Okay, I can't... Okay. I hate my wife. <laughs> okay. What can we buy here? Discord notification! Ah, oh, come on. KD's gonna tell his rant, but I can't do that. Can't listen to it right now, because, you know, we're doing a thing right now. Attack boost. Weird fruit. Defense boost. Act. That's 3,000! Hello? That's expensive! Jesus. I mean, I know we're just minus one. What's that other house there? Weapon shop. We can buy a ton of stuff here. Oh my god. Bait that is used to catch more warrior mermaids. What? More ammunition. KD, I am recording right now, pal boy. I'll listen to your rant when I'm not recording. But anyway, what's this other shop? Herb shop. Oh boy. Uh. What? <laughs> Herb 9,012. 8,429.7,200. What? Dead plant. A large plant. A medium plant. 
a small plant, and a fetch fire, and a attack fire, and a leaf. A leaf is ammunition for our Uzis. How does that even work? So I have to look for that one house. I might at least do a side. Oh wait, this is the house. What the hell? Kill, Rage, and Envy. It's like... What is this, a Triforce or something? Cheap and unlocked elements. Oh, okay, cool. Well, we unlocked an achievement. I mean, it means we accomplished something in this episode. Uh, hi there. Not yet. Not yet what? Why is the cloak guy there? What's even in the house? Uh, what do you got for me? Why the fuck are you in my house? <laughs> reminds me of that one lady in Lunar Wish who was like, who kicked us out because, like, this isn't Pokemon. What are you doing in my house? Leave my daughter alone. She needs to practice, practice, practice. I hate playing the piano. Rip. Alright. So many freaking houses here. Would you like an apple? I just picked them today. They're really juice. What is wrong with this guy's face? Oh, cool. Wait, can I talk to him again? Wait, leave me the fuck alone. I already gave you a free apple. <laughs> These people are rude. My back is killing me. Maybe I should ask the doctor for some medicine. I want to check these achievements real quick again. Uh, whatever. Real quick. Let's check this empty house. Okay. So let's go and accomplish something real quick before we end this episode. Because we're already like... We've been just wandering around mindlessly for... There's more in this town? Well, I can't go this way yet. Those are memory blocks. I am so rich, I have my own face icon. Mmm, yes. Pure may stand against power, but... But it's easily corrupted by bliss. What? What's with all these houses? Drug shop, oh my god. Uzi looked at the cashier, which looked to be over six feet tall. Nothing about him seemed familiar, but then she noticed that his left eye was covered up. I know! Ow, Chad Payne. I have some pills, I'll help get rid of that headache. Oh, boy. Uh... HP injection. Lust injection. High injection. I don't have any money, though, so... Every time you drugs, your high will increase. The higher it gets, the more treasure chest you'll find. Ooh. Thousand gold if you want in. I don't have a thousand. We need to go get some money. <laughs> or else they may try to stick something in my butt. I don't know what they would do, why they would do that, but I'm definitely not going to talk to strangers now. Why does the sun ever go down? Oh, you know, because limitations of RPG Maker. And who, who are you? I just slaughtered five dragons with my bare hands. And... Katie, I'm not even reading your anything! Bro, I'm trying to record! This man is... Wait, whoa, what the... When did I... Whatever. West intersection. Let's go... Okay, I can't go that way at all. Okay. Did I just go around in a circle? I just went around a freaking circle. Are you serious? Bro. Where do I go? I mean, it's nice to wander around and talk to the NPCs and see what mindless things I can't buy because I don't have any money. But where do I go? Down here? Oh, wow. That's a weird-ass transition. We, like, went up. Down, and then we end up like there. Shiri Castle. Alright, let's go. Uzi walked up to the king and queen, who were both sitting on their thrones. The king was extremely gorgeous with a warm, kind hearted smile. There was an innocent aura coming from them, only came from the purest of souls, even though the purest is spelled wrong. I'm a grammar Nazi, deal with it. The queen, on the other hand, was very fat, but sexy in a cute way. Her fingers were sticky from all kinds of foods, and her lips looked like they would taste like cinnamon rolls. Wait, what? Hello? Hello, young lady. What is your name? Mm, yes. I have to give him that voice because he's the fancy king. Uzi. That's a very beautiful name. So, Uzi, why have you blessed us with your presence? Blessed what? Oh, sorry. I'm asking why you're here. Um, go to castle. 
You want a tour of the castle? Okay! Wait! When she's a spy sent you to steal my delicious cakes! I refuse to allow anyone to enter that would jeopardize the safety of my cakes. Hmm. What if we have her do quests? If she can complete all of our quests, and we will allow her access to our castle. Hmm, yes. Okay, but they won't be easy. Or is that sound? Yes. For your first mission, I want you to collect me some apples from House B3. Heard they're really juicy and delicious. That's located in the eastern part of Shiryville. As for my quest, I want you to take this free meal ticket to the restaurant and have your- Wait, what?! That's not even a quest! That's like, here, have a free meal ticket! Go to the restaurant and have a nice meal! Here you go. Got a meal ticket. These are also okay. Okay, just look at the sign and silver on it. Now be off! I told you to- I told you to collect me that man's delicious apples. Okay, when you drive the quest, come back here and talk to the king or queen. Okay, we can talk to them by clicking the... One of them isn't even a quest, though. Like, literally, one of them is like, go down to the place and do the thing. That's the wrong thing, you idiot. It's called quests. So, we didn't know our award. Difficulty. Long but easy. Wait, I can... Capture the princess. <laughs> okay. Stupidly easy! <laughs> what? <laughs> Rewards of Sonic! I can't! This is hilarious! Okay, let's go. Let's go do the quests. Let's do the easy one first, and by the easy one, I definitely mean the one where we go and just, like, you know, not have a nice clean meal. We go steal apples. Like, here. They give us their arrows. Huh? When Uzi walked to the house, she noticed a young man getting lustfully- Wait, whoa, what? Lustfully groped by a pair of ogres! Help me! They're trying to rape me! Don't be like that! We just want to have some fun! Yeah, we're gonna make you feel good inside! Hurry up and stop them! Um... Apples! Wait! Save me first! I'll give you as many apples as you want! Just save me! Nah, we're just gonna take your app. <laughs> we just left it to get raped. I guess it's time to have some fun. <laughs> I can't. Well, that quest is done. And that guy probably just got raped hardcore. But anyway. We gotta check it. Oh my, another meal second from the king. Does this man, like, literally give these away? Please follow me and I'll have you get ha get you seated. So, what would you like to eat? Um... Food. <laughs> okay... I'll bring you our daily special! A short while later... Here you go. The daily special didn't look very special. It looked like a rat had been soaking in water for days after being fried by an electrical wire. <laughs> After being fried by an- After finishing her delicious meal, the waitress returned. How was it? it? Tasted like soup. I'm glad to hear that. Please come again. Wow. I would never go to that place ever. Let's go back and visit the king and queen again, because we completed both of those quests. It's both of those ridiculously simple quests. Oh, and we let a guy get raped, but, you know, we don't talk about that. That was kind of a thing. I haven't even shot anything yet. Like, what's the deal? I thought I was going to be shooting stuff. I haven't shot anything yet. I did your quest. Oh, was your meal? Good? Well, I'm glad. By the way, while you were gone, I came across some destroyed documents about a girl that looked exactly like you. Her name wasn't Uzi, but I'm pretty sure the information is about you. Therefore, I used the information to get you an in-ID. It will allow you free access to the inn for What?! For a full- This guy is too nice! It could also be used as a user ID to get to the pub, since you apparently look- You're apparently much older than you look. Here you go, miss. What? Cool card. When Uzi looked at the ID card, she looked at the image and name of Blurry, as if her brain were trying to censor her past. Why is it blurry? Do you have any glasses? No thanks, I'm not thirsty. Why don't you go rest at the inn? I'll give you my next quest tomorrow once you're well rested. Mmm, yes. Okay! 
Okay, what? I'm gonna be brutally honest, this king is too nice. I had a teacher once in middle school, and he felt like he was way too nice. Like, way too nice. But anyway, do you have my apples? Yes. Finally. Mate, bring them to me at once. We're literally doing fetch quests. Here you go, my lady. Oh, these look amazing. The queen quickly started devouring the extremely juicy apples. Mmm, these are even better than I expected. Now, since you've proven your worthiness by collecting these, these delicious apples, I will grant you the honor of collecting my daily bread. The baker is right across from the castle. The bread should already be paid for and everything. Just pick it up. Are you serious? Now I gotta go do another random fetch quest? Like, when are we gonna shoot stuff? Like, that's what I'm wondering. All this is so far is fetch quests. Like, I'm not saying fetch quests are bad, but it's like... Really? Is this the bakery? And that's the premium shop. Like, can I get some money from this? Is this a quest? Pick up bread. Okay. Like, can I get some quests that'll actually give me money? This is the party club. Welcome to the party club. I'm the party club's leader. Insert name here. Hello, insert name here. <laughs> I'm currently working on our next big party, but unfortunately I'm running short on some supplies. That's where you come in. I? I need you to bring me a beer. That way I can have exactly 40, I'll have exactly 400 cans. Um, okay. Is that quest too? It doesn't tell me why I get new quests. Beer run. Cheap. Okay. Acquire a beer. But I have no money, so I can't go and buy a beer. So. Ripperoni. Is this the bakery? This is the jewelry shop. Where the frick's the bakery at? Is it this place? No, this is the drug shop. Where's the bakery then? And when am I going to get to shoot stuff with my bubbles? Oh, here it was. Duh. Apparently an idiot. Would you like to buy some bread? No. Of course, no one ever wants to buy my bread. So what are you here for? Pick up Queen's bread. Oh, so you're the new pickup girl. Here you go. Lolly buns? Thank the gods that the Queen eats so much bread. If it wasn't for her, I would have to come up with another way to make money. Okay, don't care. Bye-bye. <laughs> we're so terrible. But anyway, we're gonna... Go turn this quest in, and then we're gonna end off the episode. Because, clearly, all we're doing so far is fucking fetch quests. I mean, I have no problem with fetch quests, but still, it's just the fact that we're doing nothing but fetch quests. Is, is this is all just to capture the princess? Why are we even capturing the princess to get drugs? I don't know! But we got the buns! What took you so long? The shop is right across the street! It should have taken you more than three minutes- Ah, uh, You know, lady, I'm kind of an idiot, so you know. I'm being timed? Maid, bring me my bread! Here you go, my lady. And now she's eating the bread, too. His buns are always so delicious. I bet some fresh honey would go perfect with these buns. Go collect me some. In the buggy woods last time... Are you seriously gonna make me go f fetch some... Am I gonna get to shoot some stuff? Wait... I'm just checking something real quick. Okay, kill the giant. Okay, actually, we get to kill something next time. Okay, so next time on Uzi's Drugged Adventures 2. Wait, what the hell? Huh? Where am I? I have brought you here to give you a gift. Is it drugs? No, it's a wooden chest. You do remember what a wooden chest contains, don't you? Um, it was in the tutorial. There was a tutorial? <laughs> Why do I even bother? <laughs> I don't know, cloak guy. Can we grab this, too? Princess dress! Not even bad. I was wondering, because we... I'm pretty sure we got one in the last game, too. So... Moon ammo. What? That was weird. We just get, like, straight up teleported out. Only to get moon ammo. But anyway, we're gonna be heading off to the buggy woods. 
to go and kill some things next time on Uzi's Direct Adventures 2. I will see you guys then, where hopefully we actually get to shoot stuff like the game says I should.